Interesting. All right. That was on accident, so that's good to know. Uh, next, we have the lava hoe, which is simply made with an iron hoe and some fire rods and other bits and pieces in the mana section. And simply what this allows you to do is just make lava farmland, like so. And it has obviously 250 durability, 3 attack speed, and 1 attack damage. Um, obviously you can still damage this, um, and I assume obviously that you do need lava for it to be moist farmland. So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the extent I can think of for those. And I assume you just put certain potatoes on here. And it'll um, allow you to have crops. I gotta find which ones I can use though. Oh, I can actually use. Oh, you can use those as wooden steels. That's interesting. Oh, great. Okay, so you can consume it or you can actually use them. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, at least for the hot ones. Um, now, which for the crops again? I've got. Very sweet. We'll just go with that, I guess. Oh wait, no, I need the seeds, that's right. What am I thinking? Um let's see, we've got lava potato seeds, which you do need a mana sort of setup for. Water potato and ice potato. So just get those and that's pretty much what I guess we want. We'll do that. And the rest of them not going to, they need a regular. So let's see. Just go like this and just get the rest of it around here. Like so. Yeah, does that even. Nope, I just couldn't see them. That's all. So there's those. We'll get some bone meal. Oops, bone meal. There we go. And just right clicking this. There's a few stages and gives us. Water potato, and that is that. And what happened to the other one? I'm assuming it is probably supposed to drop something, but either I wasn't lucky, maybe, or it's just it doesn't drop yet. For whatever reason. So, we'll try with the other seeds again. Or the ice potato. So, we need one, two, and three. That doesn't drop anything, apparently. Okay. Apparently, it doesn't drop anything. Water potato is possible. We've got one, two, three, four ish. That's we've got a lava potato there. So if you need these for anything else like smelting, or just making more, or making obsidian, you've got that. I guess. Um, so that's how you get those, I guess. Uh, which you can get what a lava potato from regularly just doing that. Okay. So it's still fairly accessible. Um, speaking of fuel, you've got obviously the ultimate broken fuel, which is made in a mana sort of, well, sorry, sweet infuser, and the smelt 64, so obviously 8 times your regular coal with the extension of other stuff. Um, we've got a splash potion of fire mana, which is like so, which just requires any type of splash potion, mana cauldron, and a few other things. Upon giving this to us, it'll just light up the area, it seems. So there's that. So it's more like a grenade. I wasn't sure if it would be like a expansion of fire resistance or something. We've got life mana, which simply just gives you grass, I guess. All right. Uh, and then we've got the void bottle, which is simply a shame for getting void, maybe in a dimension or finding other stuff. I don't know. Oh, or it's just for the void charger, technically, which is obviously another block we'll get to. Since so that so far. Um, let's see what else we got here. We've got the essences, which we'll get to. We've got rods, which we'll take for certain purposes of recipes, I think. Because I don't think you can use them on their own. No, I don't think so. No, they are just for recipes. Right. So, let's see. Obviously, a bunch of components. We'll get to those. We've got quantum drill and hot boy drill. We've got shards and things we'll do. So, yeah. We'll just get all these blocks and find out what they actually do for now. Whether it be recipes, we'll just actually convert them to stuff because we may need to. Just to find out what they do. Because there's quite a lot here, so... Yeah, quantum part, this, 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 and this, and that's everything, right? I think so. 
Uh, where's the quantum stuff? All right. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, let's just get rid of all of you. Kind of time for a water bucket. So we'll just get rid of all you, and we'll just make that easier. Good. All right. So first up, potato dryer. Simply stone and potato blocks. Place that down. You've got obviously a thing on the side, you've got the things you put inside it, oh, sorry, get converted, and you've got your fuel, I assume, and some other specialty slot. So we'll just put, say, a potato in here. Make a dry potato. We'll get some coal, or whichever type of fuel you have access to. Um, and I don't know if you need actual water, possibly here. Am I missing something? Okay, what else do we need? Um, or is it that you need this to convert water? Maybe? Let's just put it in there. I need fuel or something? That's the thing, is there's only so much explained. So, machine to wet. Try or wet the potato. Um, don't know if there's anything in the source at all. It's about the same information there. There's not much else of a wiki. So, we have to just go off what we can. There's a bunch of different crops. Oh yeah, I've got some of the others. Whoops. Either way, you get the idea. Obviously, it'll give you the following number of those of sticky and glowing and everything else. That's pretty self-explanatory, um, I guess. Um, but yeah, potato dryer. So you just put in a shimmer fuel. You put in the corresponding uh, resource you want. It's potato, sponge, or otherwise bucket related. Um, get fuel or obsidian out of it, and then you're good. Um, or wetting it, apparently, compared to drying it out. And yeah, so we're missing here. So that goes there, maybe? Do you need actual water there, though? Um, or a bottle, I guess, maybe? I have no idea, I can only guess, so I don't know. Um, yeah, apparently. Is that, so, potato is the fuel. Is it? So we could give sponge maybe then. What happens then? So, that goes in there. And then. Oh, so drying and wetting, sorry. Right, so that makes sense. And then. How do I power you then? So drying or wetting, and then we just need a thing there, which I don't know. Maybe we do need mana, and I just have to work it out. Uh, sweet potato generator, simply like so. Okay, so this is our power generator. Rust, that's fine. Okay, so now I get it. Um, we we'll get coal, of course. So does potato actually do anything for us? Potato does. All right, so we get an actual another one of these. Will coal work? It will not, so we do actually have to use potatoes. Good to know. So potatoes are important throughout the entire mod, not just recipes. Good to know. So we've got obviously a baked one as well. We're getting quite a bit of power per potato. Just wait for this to go. I assume it's like maybe what three thousand each potato by the looks things for RF. And I assume you can use this for other mods as well. It's not just its own RF that it tries to do. Um, so there's that. That's not going in there apparently though, which I assume is what it's supposed to do. Um, but anyway, there's that. Uh, we've got a sweet freezer, which I just forgot about the recipe, which is just iron, machine frame, and so on. And that accepts RF, and this is used for pretty much freezing things. So making ice, or making a frozen potato, pretty much. So we'll just do some what sugar was it? No salt. So salt, no that's not it. Raw salt in particular, okay. That makes sense. Uh, raw salt and a... What am I missing? Raw salt and that and ice. We'll just, we'll just try that I guess. We'll just go with that. So we'll go water and see how much that needs for power. So it needs quite a bit by the looks of things. 
and we'll make some ice for us. So there's that, and that will keep generating as much as it can. That's taking most of its power. Um, we've got a sweet crystal maker, which is simply like so. And that is used for raw salt and ice. And that's it, so just for crystal shards. So we may actually break this one and put the other next to it. So there's a need to unpick, but we'll just do this for the sake of it because it makes it easier. Just do this, and that'll take its power. And this is making shards, which we use in many of the infusion and mana aspects. So we we'll just go and put what's it again? Okay, so you do need the ice for something. So ice here, and raw salt there. We'll do that, and this will require a fair amount of power. I assume it needs a fair amount in there before to actually um, make a crystal. So it actually needs the following to fill up the bar to then create it, probably not just like a small handful in it, at a guess. But yeah, it's using a fair amount each, um, I guess, a crystallization process, I guess, or adding to it. So we'll see what happens. That's not doing in the end, it's just storing it, right? No, okay, so the other's taking it, no? You're still going. You're just sitting there, though. Interesting. So whichever's next to it seems to take higher priority, apparently. Okay, we'll just wait for this, and I assume it will eventually give us what we need, which is one crystal. After power many in there, so we've got a crystal. We can use, obviously, to make another quartz. We can make a crystal itself um, and other resources as well. Shards, crystal, and more. We can charge them and so on. Let's see. We've got the sweet crystal charger, which is simply made with many of the crystals we were just able to make and so on. And so I might get a few other sweet potato generators, I think. So let's see. Sweet crystal charger. Now we'll get a bunch of potatoes. I don't know if like the lava ones will work over others. No. Oop. It can go in there, but that's about it. Uh, does a hot potato work? No. Extra hot? No. So it just seems like regulars baked. Doesn't say the recipes there. Mostly just regular potatoes is just the easiest way to go in there. I don't know if dried or anything else will work though. That's the thing. I assume we'll just do that. Yeah, most of it's best to go with the other. Try and sweet potato. Does sweet potato work? Sweet potato does, obviously, because it is possible. Don't know if it generates much more, though. Probably, probably not. I uh, don't think so. It makes that. So we'll just go with a bunch of sweet potato, just because why not, I guess. And we'll see what happens when this fills up. So it is only for charging crystal shards or ultimates, and then that's used for a charged crystal and then an ultimate using a mix of concentrated and otherwise, which is that, and shards, and we need to use mana for that. And the ultimate is used for the ultimate tier of blocks, for charging or ultimate fuel or the ultimate flower, which again I have to get into those, so we don't know what those do yet. That's for charging things. Um, let's see what the actual cost is. So we'll just go one crystal shard, for example. One of those. And then, it, okay, so it does use up quite a bit of power. So it takes quite a bit for it, and you need probably a multitude of these or whatever other RF power source you have. So it'll take a bit. But I'd eventually fill up and then so on. Oh, okay, so it consumes it every 400, it seems. Like that. Um, or we just put more generators, of course, because that also works. Um, sweet potato. I don't know if sweet potato produces more than regular, but that would be my guess. Um, let's just do that and see what happens. We go a lot faster, and so on. 